Hi guys, welcome back to Griffin's Gaming Guides. Today we're going to go after another Demon Souls remake trophy, not Fooled. We need to vanquish the Fool's Idol without hitting any clones. Now obviously the Fool's Idol could be found in the Tower of Latria, Prison of Hope area. That's the first area that you're going to come to in the Tower of Latria. And in order to be able to detect whether or not you're going to be hitting a clone, it's a very simple method, but it can be a highly missable one if you're not too sure what to look for. All you need to do is simply press the R3 button to lock on. If the enemy gets a little health bar above their head like a normal enemy would do as you make your way through the game, then that's a clone. If you lock on and there's no health bar, that's because it already appears at the bottom of the screen. This is the actual Fool's Idol. And you need to ensure that nothing hurts these clones. Not an arrow, not a magic attack or a fire-based attack. Anything whatsoever hits these clones and you simply won't unlock your trophy. So just take your time with this one. You can use the pillars for cover for the most part anyway. And as you can see here, I've locked on. There's no health bar whatsoever as it's at the bottom of the screen. I'm now free to go in and attack that one. Now the position will change for the Fool's Idol every time she kind of morphs away and comes back. As you can see here, the same clone I was, or the same enemy I was just attacking has now became a clone. Obviously, you've got a little health bar. This one, no health bar, go in and attack it. Now, you are free to hit the other enemies going around, the little hollows that are kind of shambling around. They will try and hit you on occasion, but more than anything, they just kind of get in the way. But take care when you do try and hit them, as if your attack accidentally hits one of the clones, it would be better to let the Fool's Idol kill you Back to the Archstone, get through the level again, and try again without hitting any clones this time. And as soon as you've defeated the Fool's Idol without having hit a single clone, your trophy will then unlock. So then guys, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comment section how you're getting on with a not full trophy. Please ensure you subscribe to Griffin's Gaming Guides. After you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future Demon's Souls remake content. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.